Hey GF, Kyle Jones, Tier 5 Life here with Aaron Giles, who uh, bubbled and got ninth at our 62 man uh, 25th anniversary case tournament and wanted to show off what he played. I uh, played Sprite today. It's my pet deck, brother. I really enjoy this stuff. I think it's underrated, this format. You know, people just forget about these guys. Like, I mean, look at that jacket. He's full of drip. Sprite best anyway, uh, uh, it's a super standard list mostly. I got three blue, three jet, uh, two red, two carrot. Because we don't have elf anymore, so you know we need we need to have more than one of these each. Have some follow up on the you know the crackback, and it's like it's like one of the best normal summons because normal summon this, especially summon this like it's protected. You know what I mean? Either one. Um, for one of the spicy one, spicier attacks though, I played Pixies today because basically this deck is just a SP control, and you'll see later that I'm playing two SP little knights. And, you know, I had so many people just be like, you know, okay, it's special Fenrir uh, attacking SP. And I'm like, damage step? And just pitch this or uh, activate this. Damage step. Both those cards went crazy with SP today. Uh, what, this? <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't have no twos. Anyway, so uh, uh, two starter, standard. One uh, smasher, standard. One of this guy. This card's broken. Like, I, I stealing Fenrir's all day, you know, stealing people's normal summons. It's, it's super broken. Uh, three Beaver, two Angler. Gotta play two, because if you draw one, you know, you, you still have to be able to send one. Same thing with this card, because I'm still playing Toad Shenanigans. So, uh, two swaps. So, if you draw one, you can still summon one from deck. And uh, I play the Reapadocus line uh, to make any one of these other guys an Aqua and just, you know, make Toad. And then last two for like engine, or I'm still playing the Melfi engine. So uh, these guys don't need too much explaining. Um, there's just not really much to do with all the bodies that Sprite produces. So like this is like this is, like the best supplementary engine that goes with like the end board. You know, you can still end on like uh, you can still end on uh, the Melfi stuff, Toad, and SP plus like Red Care and some uh, follow up. So. <clears throat> It's not really good. This card's just absolutely fucking insane for killing people. Uh, sorry for cussing. You're probably gonna have to pick that out. But uh, no, nobody sees these cards coming ever. Um, it's it for like the main engine and like the supporting stuff. Uh, I had to borrow three Fenrirs today, but this card was absolutely broken. I drew a Fenrir every single game, and it was just like you know a board breaker as a combo piece. But I only draw like you know three hand traps of this and a level two. You can still play. Um, not much more to say about that. Three Ash, uh, Ashing, Branded Fusions, and uh, Unchained Traps, and you know, all the stuff in the meta right now is still pretty good. I know it's like you know, one of the weaker interactions, but it's just nice to in a simplified game state. Uh, Droll helps you get to the simplified game state. Uh, I don't care what anyone says, this card hurts just about everybody just a little bit. Especially like, you know, when your unchained opponent starts with Pot of Prosperity and you're just like, nice. And they just lose the game because like there's no way, no other way that they lose to that card if they just open that and search the, uh, what is it, Abomination off of it. And I'm like, wow, that's free. Uh, two Valor. Um, I'm at 41, so I couldn't fit the third one. Uh, this card was a last minute addition. Econ. Uh, absolutely crazy. Taking Fenrir, he's taking Barons. Uh, switching my side deck Ibli to defense position when they try to crash it in the battle phase. Just goaded. Uh, three Imperm, standard shit. That's it for the main deck, 41. Uh, go to the extra deck. Like I said, still playing the Melfi stuff. And uh, this card, I don't like the Melfi Synchro. I don't think the card's good enough. It's like barely one interruption where it's like you can, you know, uh, double cross this back if you don't like want to double cross toad and stuff like that and this is you know good um <clears throat> the sprite stuff we got two gigantic and only one sprint because you really only need one for turn one i really don't think like it's good enough for the follow-up cards like this are better for the follow-up because i set up the lethal um this summon back ash blossoms a droll knocker it's an attack mode all day and i just killed him with a you know a gamma burst or did mosquito things and you know, killed him from that. Toad, summoned him all day. Zeus, didn't summon him once, but he's still there. Uh, this is the Toad Enabler. Um, it's it, it's just stupid cheesy. We're getting a new uh, Ice Barrier card soon, maybe even like next year, that makes this card useless. You don't have to play this anymore. You just make Toad for no reason. Um, <clears throat> IP and uh, two SP. I played two of these because it's essentially just like a uh, SP control 
and IP could either go into that or it could go into Air Max, which like hardly anybody's playing out to, or this, uh, Honorable Goddess, which is also just absolutely crazy. Um, this guy's really good because everything targets right now, and she's really good for just removing it off the board. Like, we're playing whatever you want. And the, the real best card in my deck is this. I killed everybody with this card. It's absolutely insane. I love this card so much. Every time I kill somebody with it or like attempt to, they're like reading it three times. I'm like, what does this card do? And I'm like, D sorry, just like, extend the handshake, bro. And that's it for the extra. <clears throat> Didn't lose the D-Barrier once. Got D-Barrier a couple times, but I just went like IP stuff instead of like XE stuff. It's all right. Uh, side deck, got a little bit of a spice in there. I played two of these, XE's Encores. Uh, for the purely matchup and like Dweller and Baguska. Dweller sometimes hurts certain hands, so you gotta really, uh, you know, make sure you have that. And I've also played Spellbound 2 0 as like a four card side for purely. And also, this comes in against like Unchained sometimes. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it stops their Lake Monster from using your stuff if you don't, you know, have the econ and whatnot for it. Um, I played. Uh, Two Lightning Storm, because you can only play two, unfortunately, and one Feather Duster. These cards are crazy. Uh, you know, every time I saw them, I think I won the game. Uh, one Ibley for going first. These guys always kind of went in together uh, because, you know, they either have to waste their battle phase on this or normal summon something. If they normal summon something, I just spellbound it. And then now neither of these guys can be used for anything. Can't even be tributed over by Abyss Deal, whatever. Like against like a Dragon League matchup, I know that they have Abyss Deal, so I'm just going to shotgun this immediately and make sure they get tribute summon over this. Uh, <clears throat> and also, like I said, econing this to the best position <laughs> is uh, pretty good. Three nib, uh, self explanatory. And uh, three crow, also self explanatory. These guys are just good across the board. And one of my favorite cards ever, Pecker Tops. So glad I can finally play this again and it's relevant again. It just obliterates the uh, Unchained board. Like you just you just summon this and they're just quaking in their boots, man. It's so good. Anything so, you change? Uh, um, I don't know, maybe the Abermax for like uh, something else, but I just, every time I summon that though, it's so hard to, for my opponents to help. Huh? Right. Well, you got to get the third. I know, right? Yeah, and, like to play some like extra or something. I don't know, I'll just play him, but uh, I don't think so. Maybe even like books somewhere, like Book of Eclipse, but I really like the side deck, so. Any shout outs? Uh, shout outs to Ryan and Rogue's Den and uh, Team Pie for Life Games. Um, thanks for having me on the channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.